Okay, so continue. Uh, we continue our uh, remaining part. So when we when we took this two common, okay, when we took this two common, so what do we get? We get uh, okay. Let me show you this thing here. In the down, okay. When we took two common, we have n minus one, then plus n minus two. Then plus n minus three, all the way up to the how many times? Then we have what? Then we have, for example, uh, uh, n into uh, you can say uh, minus one, or you can say zero up to the zero. You can suppose here n minus two, n minus three. Uh, then between you can say you have n minus k, okay, and so on up to the uh, what? Maybe you have n minus n to n minus one. Okay, then in the end you have n into n minus one. Okay, now if you see, uh, it's a it's a n, and this uh, if you if you add these n only, if you add only these n, so it would be n into n into. So it's a it's a n time. It's a n time. So what do we have? We have n time n. We have n time m. And then we take subtraction as a, a side. If we keep a subtraction aside, then it would it would be one plus two plus three plus four up to, all the way up to the end. So we have written here one plus two plus three plus all the way up to the end, right? Now uh, uh, you know two is aside. This one would be n squares. So this is n squares minus. It's a all way all the way up to the First uh, addition of first natural number. Now remember, from the addition of first natural number is n into n minus one upon two. When you simplify, when you simplify, uh, simplify this one after doing math, you will get n square minus n. So this is the formula for back substitution. Okay. Now come on the conclusion. Okay. In summary, we have shown that the for the gas Jordan elimination, the number of laws required for the Forward and backward phases are uh, uh, in this way. The for a forward phase, we uh, the number of loops we required are two upon three n cube and plus one upon two n square minus one upon n. And uh, and the loops for the backward is n square minus one. When you combine this full, okay. When you add first with the second, okay. Thus, the total cost uh, of linear system uh, by gas uh, Jordan elimination is this. Okay, this is the cost total cost that uh, need to solve gas Jordan method, and this is the same for the uh, this is the same for the gas elimination method. Okay, now uh, as we have started in the starting, as we have started in the starting, so let me also. Tell you this point that I have copied here. It uh, it is a property of polynomial. Remember from the polynomial uh, that the uh, for the large values of independent variable, the term of the highest power makes a major contribution for the value of the polynomial, right? Uh, uh, so similarly, we say thus that for the large linear system, uh, we can use three for the approximate number of loops for what the forward and backward. So we can say. For the for the forward phase, we need approximately two upon three n cube flops, uh, and for the backward, we need n square flops. Uh, 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 okay, uh, uh, for n square flops for the backward substitution, and we if, if we combine these two, so we can say we can say for the full uh, gas elimination or gas Jordan math method. We need approximately two upon three n cube plus n square flops. Well, or some people only say it's a, it's a two by three, two by three n cube. So these are different thing, uh, different uh, ideas that different mathematician have introduced uh, or they use for the large or small system of linear equation. But the, in summary, we have this. Full uh, uh, for the both phases we have this uh, cost uh, that we used uh, uh, that we have found that was our purpose uh, 
uh, uh, to find okay so we have found this one and we have done with our work okay so i hope this is clear if you have any question you can uh, uh, you can ask in the comments i'll try to make that your uh, doubt clear okay thank you